Well, Jen, as you said, Nathaniel Kibbe taken into custody without incident at his home in Gorham. It was just after noon today. Police saying that the 34 year old was taken into custody without any problems at the scene there. He is scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow on a felony kidnapping charge. And after that court appearance, we are expecting to get an update from investigators. So far, they've been very tight lipped on exactly what happened. But we're hearing from friends of Abby Hernandez's family who say tonight they are relieved. She's happy. You know, she's happy, but the family feels safe now. The family feels safe. Did she know who the suspect was, or did she even. I honestly don't know. Now, the Attorney General's office says Abby did provide information leading to that arrest warrant, but investigators have not commented any further on why they're charging Kibbe with kidnapping. It's still unclear exactly where Abby was, under what conditions, since she disappeared back in October. Live in the newsroom, Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9. Okay, Jean, thanks. And get a look at this. This is the Gorham neighborhood where Nathaniel Kibbe was taken into custody today, surrounded now in crime scene tape. And also late this afternoon, investigators from the Attorney General's office were on scene there as well. Our Adam Sexton continues our team coverage in Gorham. State, local, and federal law enforcement are swarming Brookside Drive in Gorham. Their focus, the trailer home of 34-year-old Nathaniel Kibbe, the man charged with kidnapping Abigail Hernandez. Police arrested him here without incident around noontime. I was here when they showed up, and then I took the kids and left because I didn't know what was going on. Just about everyone in the neighborhood is now thinking back over the last nine months, wondering if Abby Hernandez might have been here the whole time. No one we spoke with recalls seeing her. From what I, I've been talking to the neighbors and everything, and nobody sir, saw or heard nothing. When it comes to the suspect, people here say they saw him come and go quite a bit, but he didn't do a lot of socializing. I hung out with him several times. My sister actually hung out with him. They, she and his ex-girlfriend were friends for a long time. So, you know, I've always known him, and I could, I would never have even considered the possibility of this. In Gorham, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9. And so tomorrow's arraignment is scheduled for 1 p.m. A news conference expected after that. We will carry it all live right here on WMUR. You can also watch it on our website and through our mobile app.